Hey guys Agent John 2 here and today I'm bringing you a real mega meme. Don't worry I'll totally explain what that is later, but for now, we've got a few things to cover. First off, the usual formalities that you've probably all memorized by now, but since we've probably got a few new meme masters here, I'll repeat them anyways. Leave a comment saying which gun you'd like to see as a meme next Monday, and be sure to check my memes playlist to see if I have already done it before you comment. But anyways, the second thing I'd like to mention is that, half of my experience recording for this video looked like, this, with meme level ping and everything. Swag would be proud. So I apologize if the footage is a bit laggy, but that's enough of that intro, here comes the good stuff. Last week you guys requested many things, the AK-47, the RPK-74, and Arthur won't stop bothering me about the RPK, so you know what, I'm just going to do the whole AK family and make everyone happy. Rip you are 870 man. I will now introduce you to the entire AK family, in no particular order of course. Okay so I know I just said no particular order but how can you not start with the AK-47? This gun is like the old grandpa of the family. He is a true Russian though, and channels the power of mother Russia to headshot enemies that you didn't even know were there. So be sure to spray and pray. He has been in literally every shooter game ever made, so he has plenty of experience with spraying and praying. He also has a lower minimum time to kill than even the famous, so have fun with that. Side effects may include breaking your entire Wi-Fi network and setting up crazy frags. Moving on we have the slightly modernized version of the AK-47, the AKM. This gun is basically the AK-47 but for longer ranges. Its max damage is lower in close quarters, but its minimum damage is higher at long range. This, combined with its slightly lowered recoil, makes it a favorite of some pro players. Side effects may include ranking up unexpectedly and your frags being made of pure karma. Next up we have the little hyperactive kid of the AK family, the AK-74. This gun shoots a smaller bullet but shoots them faster. That's pretty much it. It's garbage at range but can be actually quite good in close quarters. Side effects may include causing the entire enemy team to try to trick shot and falling into infinity whenever you spawn. Now we have the AK-12, the gun that every rank 10 mains because it's an AK, but that really isn't all that great. To be fair, it's AK at most things, but it's really not all that great at anything. However, it is perfect for the noobs who fire full auto at long range because it really doesn't have too much recoil. There really aren't any side effects with this gun. It's just an AK gun. Now on to the two heavy hitters of the family, the RPK and the RPK-74. The RPK-74 just really wants to be an AK-74. It's faster, lighter, does less damage, and isn't as good at range as the RPK. It's really just an LMG that wants to be an assault rifle with more bullets. The RPK on the other hand takes its job as an LMG seriously. It fires slower, but hits significantly harder and continues to do so at any range. Seriously this gun can 4 hit any enemy at long range, but if that enemy happened to have stubbed his toe recently, it'll be a 3 hit. Now there is a huge debate over which one is better. Some say the RPK-74 because it has the lowest minimum time to kill of any AK or any LMG for that matter. Some say the RPK because its higher damage makes it more effective at any range, and it still has a minimum time to kill of only a tenth of a second. My response is this. Which RPK gun has to have numbers after its name? Not the RPK because it defines what an RPK is. Haha <laughs> get wrecked RPK 74. And now you're probably all yelling at me about the AK-15 and the CTE. You can stop yelling now because it's literally just the AK-12 but chambered for a larger round. Yes it does more damage, but it also kicks so much it puts the M60 to shame. And no I couldn't get any footage for it because the CTE was closed. But anyways, that'll be all for this mega meme. I hope you're happy Arthur and you can stop bothering me now.